Hey Cancer, welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Cancer placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip us with the rose. It's 11, 11 on the clock as I say this Cancer, as I start for reading. So good stuff coming in for you. New beginnings, new beginnings, okay? But yeah, make sure you guys flip and switch the roles, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Um, thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and booking your personals with me and sending you a lot of love and light and happiness on your journey. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are going to be, that are on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for Cancer Spirit. And protect me as I channel the messages. For my Cancerians. So let's see. Cancer, what is going on with y'all? I'm gonna take, I need to take these nails off. <laughs> I hate taking them off. What's going on for Cancer? So we have the Eight of Swords. We got the Eight of Swords. So that's Gemini, Gemini, Jupiter. Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpio, Venus, and the Magician, <clears throat> Virgo, Gemini, Energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo, yeah, a strong Virgo with the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles behind the Page of Wands. So, um, from the looks of this here, it looks like somebody is trapped in their own shit. Like, with the Seven of Cups in reverse, I feel, <laughs> okay, so I feel like you've gotten out of some sort of trap here. I feel like you're out of the trap because I feel like you see something clear. You see something clear to the point that somebody can't hide something that they were doing cancer okay they can't they, they can no longer hide so now that you're awakened to something or you see something clear it's like something has went back or reversed is what it feels like the seven of cups in reverse could talk about obviously a root of awakening okay you, you there's you're coming out of some sort of illusion and confusion or this la la land here but it could also talk about being trapped okay somebody here missed an opportunity somebody could be very superficial obviously Okay, nine times out of ten, but that does talk about somebody feeling trapped too. In reverse, with these other cars surrounding it, somebody here is stuck somewhere. They feel restricted or bound to something, or mm, I feel like you took your power back from this person. You have some sort of mental clarity about a situation, or you will be having some sort of mental clarity about something, but it's like somebody here is trapped there, there there could have been like magic or something going on that is reversing or it's like I, I don't know let's see what else for cancer yeah the hierophant mm, taurus the two of cups mm. Cancer Venus. <laughs> so the pentacles flipped and reverse when I flipped it over, but I'm gonna keep it straight. Ten of Wands, bottom of the deck, Page of Cups, the Five of Swords, Eight of Wands. So for some of you, I'm getting too that there could be a love here. There's somebody that's in love with you, or you have love for them too. It could be mutual. 
But I feel like somebody is like trapped in something. And it could be surrounding their belief system with the Hierophant under the Eight of Swords. Somebody could be going to jail for something. But I feel like it's more so their belief systems. Somebody here feels like they need to conform to something that's not helping them. Like it's not it's not pushing them forward. It's not their path. It's not what they're supposed to be conforming to. You know. I don't know. But uh let's see. I feel like somebody missed an opportunity because of their way of thinking or maybe y'all have different backgrounds. Y'all were raised different, different cultures, different beliefs, obviously. I don't know. Or somebody is stuck in some sort of marriage. Hmm, what's the eight of swords? Or they bonded themselves to some sort of contract here that they can't get out of. What's they? Okay, the magician again. Yeah, what the fuck is this? What's the age of souls with the magician? Yeah, the nine of cups in reverse. Somebody could have like addictions. It doesn't have to be drinking, sex, drugs, substance abuse. It could be like codependency and shit like that. With the nine of cups in reverse. But somebody, there's like a shattered wish or a drink something is not coming true here with the nine of cups in reverse um somebody's miserable Ugh, they're unhappy somebody needs to change their mindset someone is either letting someone else have power over them or it's something here that somebody can't they they can't see something somebody is missing a big piece of the pie here. Okay, what's the what's the nine of cups in reverse? The justice and the death card. Yeah, Libra here. We got Scorpio. Somebody could be on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio. So yeah, the, the scales are balanced here. The scales are balanced. I feel like things are coming into balance for you. You could be going through a death and a rebirth. Okay, something is definitely ending in order for something that you're doing or whatever is going on in your life to come into balance or just for you to come into balance as a whole. Okay. Um, somebody's family members could be trying to like sacrifice them or somebody's family has a, way, a certain way of doing things. And they want you or this person to conform to what they want you to do or something like that. Or this could be an ex or this could be any damn body. Somebody needs to break a generational curse. They are not five of pentacles, page of pentacles, four of swords, knight of pentacles, the lovers. Give me a minute. Let me tell him to turn that down. Let me, let me turn on my heat. Hold on. Let's go. Don't leave that food on that table. Hurry up and get the food off the table before the cat come in and get the food. You can't do that. You know how he be liking to jump on my table? Even though I don't like him doing it, but he do it anyway, because that's what cats do. <laughs> like, whatever. But, um, sorry, um, <clears throat> cancer. What's this, what's this magician right here? <clears throat> yeah, it's a pentacles in reverse, like... Something is even fucking up somebody's money. Like somebody's money is could be coming in slow, moving really slow. Like this could be because of somebody that this person is connected to, or this is somebody that you connected to. Somebody is not getting something. They're refusing to see something about someone. Or this is you. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, though, is a loss of finances. Somebody is. Or somebody that tried to do something to you here, Cancer. This person here is trapped in their own shit. Whatever they did. 
they're losing hella money. There's no stability, no security. Okay, like somebody here is financially depleted or it's like a halt or some sort of delay on someone's finances. So Yeah, the judgment. Something could be going on in like actual court, but it could be like 5D court. Somebody here could have been trying to do magic or some shit. <clears throat> I don't know. What's the seven of cups in reverse? The queen of cups? Yeah, that's you. What's the seven of cups in reverse with the queen of cups? The moon, that's you again, damn. You could be dealing with another cancer. Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Yeah, something went back to somebody. <laughs> hmm. Somebody is doing something ritualistic here. Somebody's like doing magic or something like that. But, um... Queen of Cups with the moon. Somebody got a strong intuition. This could be you, Cancer. Your intuition is strong as hell. Whatever your intuition is telling you is absolutely correct. I feel like you have came into some sort of clarity about some shit. You could be moving in silence because you know that there's like an attack or somebody is trying to attack you here and cause some sort of illusion or confusion This could be another cancer, too, for some of you that is cloaking themselves or hiding who they really are. This person could be very superficial, very greedy. But let's see, who does who that Queen of Cups right there? Somebody missed an opportunity with you. Yeah, the Chariot again. Yeah, this you. I feel like that's you. What's the Queen of Cups with the Chariot? Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you learned some sort of lesson here, Cancer. Okay, you mastered something about yourself. You're now very skilled, okay, whether it be internal work or this is external. Whatever it is, you didn't, you, you did it. I feel like you are triumphing. You're successful. You're getting some sort of victory because you pushed through something. Like, you show determination and drive. You have ambition and drive. So, I don't know. You could be going into a new contract, a new partnership, Okay, this, I was getting ready to say too, if you're going into a new relationship, I feel like this relationship is very strong too. Like this partnership is going to be one for the books. Okay, like you're going to really like this partnership or this collaboration or whatever this is. Yeah, look, the sun and the two of cups, I'm telling you. We got the moon here. Four of pentacles, seven of wands, three of swords. <clears throat> For some of you, you could have two people here. There could be like a new person coming in for you and then there's like a a past person that's like stuck somewhere. You know. What's this moon? Yeah, the devil. That's what I'm saying. Mm. this could be like fear of you moving on okay somebody here someone here is hiding their addiction issues or their their codependency issues or whatever this is like i don't know somebody what's the moon with the devil could be dealing with a capricorn you have a star aquarius Yeah, somebody could be trying to attack something or cause fear with something that you already healed from. You already did some sort of subconscious like DNA clearing. You're you're purified. It was what it feels like, okay? And whatever somebody is trying to attack or cause, it's not going to work. I feel like you are you're already aware of what's going on and you're very self-aware, so you can feel what's happening around you. Okay, with the star, that definitely talks about regrouping, recouping, revitalizing, healing, okay? 
wish fulfillment coming through for you. I feel like a positive turnaround in, in different situations, whatever your situation could be. Mm. Somebody is trying to attack something that you already know. It's like you're already aware of issue that you might have. Like if if you're codependent or if you struggle with, you know what I'm saying, certain addictions or whatever. I feel like now you're able to handle that. Like you're not you're not going to be easily tempted or easily, you know what I'm saying, stared off your path. So I don't know what what. This could be this other person too. If this person is stuck somewhere with some, if there's a person that's stuck somewhere with somebody, wow. They are, um, they're supposed to be obviously their own individual. This person could be meant to be in the public eye. They could be meant to be um, an innovator, very creative, very artistic. They could be very spiritual on a soul level, but their fears and their worries or whatever this is, this magic is that's going on in somebody's family or their life or whatever this is, is keeping them confused and stuck. I don't know, but this is a, an attack on you. Same thing. Somebody who needs to grow up and leave you the fuck alone and stop attacking you. We got the sun, the emperor, strong masculine energy, the ten of cups, the three of cups, the ten of pentacles, and the ace of wands. Behind that, we have the seven of cups, the king of swords, and the six of swords. Yeah, you could be moving on from this person because this person is just, they're very cold, Okay. Or this could be Archangel Michael here helping you to move forward because somebody's like too confused. They're stuck in an illusion. Okay, this person could be in some sort of superficial relationship. Like they feel like it's so grand, but it's not. It's a, it's a, yeah, five of wands, nine of swords, queen of swords. Yeah, so we have the king to the queen of swords. I feel like that's you and somebody. Okay, I feel like your heart is open um, to a different path and you're moving forward. You could be traveling or moving. I don't know, but I feel like that's more so you moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tower. Yeah, four of wands. Yeah. I feel like that's what you're supposed to do because somebody is lost, bro. They lost. I don't know what their problem is. But the sun, the emperor, the ten of cups, three of cups, ten of pentacles, and the ace of wands. You guys could be seeing ten, ten. Child, there could be a strong masculine coming in. Or this is you and your divine masculine energy. Like you are happy, you're joyful, you're successful, you're assertive, you're a go getter. Okay. Um, but this could be a masculine coming in to start a family with you, build a life with you. This is like a real divine masculine here. This is why I was getting ready to show you what a real divine masculine is supposed to be. Wow. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Yeah, this is nice. Okay. This is nice. Okay, we got the King to the Queen now. Eight of Pentacles. And this person could have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in their chart, or this is you. All right, but Aries, possibly. Yeah, Six of Wands, the Empress, yeah. So, I don't know what somebody's problem is, but honey, you're moving forward is what I, what I feel. What's the um magician? What's this magician right here? Somebody even lost an opportunity. Yeah, now we got the sun in reverse. Leo energy, what's the magician with the sun in reverse? Yeah, this king of swords. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Leo in their chart somewhere. Or this, you could be a Cancer, Leo, Cusper, or this is who they are. But this person is still stuck in their ego. I feel like they're sad. They're miserable. They're very disappointed. They 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 feel like they've just been let down with everything and everybody in their life. But it's the way that they think, though. They need to change the way that they think. Their their thinking is is just thrown off. They I don't know. Their belief systems are thrown off. This person is very cold as well. Very elusive. Or they just are in denial about certain things. Because the King of Swords is upright. So they could be aware of certain things. But are they actually making the changes that they need to make, though, to move forward? You know what I'm saying? I feel like somebody here holds some sort of power. But they don't they don't utilize it in a healthy way. Or they don't use utilize it at all. Like, I don't know. Somebody's very intelligent, though, King of Swords. Okay. I feel like this person is miserable and they're out of balance with you they're out of alignment
What's the what's the sun in reverse? What is a problem? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm not gonna stay on that long though. Yeah, four of cups. This person is just discontent. They're upset. They're missing a lot of opportunities here, especially the one with you. They're they're stagnant. They're at a stalemate. They're they're apathetic or they're I don't know what their problem is. This person is under some sort of like spell or something. What's this King of Swords? I feel like too, this is um I'm getting like two different situations. Like the same situation could be going on for you, but the difference is you're healing and you move past it. You're resilient enough and you're you're persevering through whatever hard times there were. Okay, so this could be somebody here that wanted complete control over you. I feel like you have you definitely have a lot of mental clarity and you're standing in your power. You're manifesting and coming into balance. Magician with the two of pentacles. So somebody here doesn't feel too enthused about that or they're unhappy or they're mad that you rejected them or whatever this is. And I feel like you have two different people here. One of them is showing up more than the other though. What's the king of swords? Yeah, the lovers. Yeah, and the seven of swords. This person, Gemini energy. Someone could have an Aquarius moon. Like somebody just keeps running away from something that they need to do or they keep lying or hiding somebody. This could be a, another lover here with the lovers. It's, but it, it's crazy because the King of Swords is upright. It's like they know what they need to do, but they're not doing it. So that's that. Then I'm also getting a situation where Archangel Michael here is protecting you because you could be coming into union or just balance within yourself, but you could be connecting to another lover like somebody that's coming in, this could be a kindred spirit, a soulmate, a counterpart, whatever you want to give it, whatever type you want to give it. That could be what's coming in. And I feel like it's like, um, you don't want to be detected. You kind of like are just moving silently. Okay. I wouldn't say really sneaking around, but I feel like your, your spirit team have you and somebody that you want to connect to or that you are connecting to cloaked and hidden for safety reasons, especially if there's magic and shit going on. You know, somebody, I don't know, uh -huh. like something is blocked. Page of Swords, Three of Swords, Seven of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, like Nine of Swords. Somebody here keeps trying to send out some sort of attack to fuck with your connections. And I feel like it's working for another masculine that you dated in the past. You leaving them behind because they, they too weak right now. They can't, they can't move past this magic for whatever reason. You know, they're not healing, that's why. So I ain't gonna say for whatever reason, because that's the reason. That's the only reason why magic works, is because people are not healing. So, I mean, you know, dark magic that is. What's the Seven of Swords? Eight of Wands. What's Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands? Yeah, two of cups. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like this is you getting ready to connect to somebody new or something like that. You could be communicating with someone. There could be a relationship forming between you and somebody. And I feel like you're keeping things under wraps here with the seven of swords. Okay, Archangel Michael is protecting it though. There's some sort of energy being sent out to attack your connections. That's what this is too. <laughs> but look, I feel like you getting ready to celebrate. Like that's that's fine. Like, I mean, if somebody is attacking you, but definitely good news, a sudden change, a sudden good change, I feel like in your life with your connection with somebody that you getting ready to connect to because I feel like maybe that you could love two people. You could love somebody and not be with them. Like you can have unconditional love for somebody, but just know that they're not for you, right? So that's what, it, that's what it is. I feel like you're moving on from that particular person because they're too weak to leave something behind is what I'm getting. Then you could be going towards somebody new and there's an attack probably coming from this person's side that you left behind because they family or they baby mama, baby daddy attacking them, whatever. And then your baby daddy, baby mama, or your friend could be attacking you. Well, I said a friend. I didn't mean to say that, but your friend. So it could be a friend or an ex I was getting ready to say or... A family member, I was going to say, actually could be attacking you, but you're not bothered by it because you've done the work, Three of Pentacles, the Chariot. Like, you're you're good. So, I don't know, child. I feel like you have clarity about both situations. 
What's the her the hierophant? Two of Swords. Okay, what's the hierophant with the Two of Swords? Libra Moon and the Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody here is too naive. They're too gullible with the Page of Cups. It's somebody's belief systems too, or they didn't got themselves tied up in a contract. Like they're literally in something that they don't want to be in and they have to conform. They feel like they have to conform to it or something like that with the 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 um hierophant. I feel like somebody's belief systems, their values, their morals, the way that they was brought up is different. But I mean, if you really love somebody, your family's gonna have to get with the program. Okay, like if you know it's real then your family and whoever else needs to fucking get with the program. I feel like somebody's not understanding that right now. And somebody's ignoring healing their inner child. Just period. They don't want to do the healing work or whatever. This person could be trying to offer you something or something like that. But it's going to be stuck at a stalemate. It's going to be stuck in the page of cups. It, little to nothing and I feel like you're way past that like you're too healed or you're too advanced now in your journey to be dealing with a page of cups like you want somebody that's going to be matching your your vibe your wavelength like that you want somebody that's in alignment with you not somebody that you got to work on or like you don't want a project <laughs> I feel like that's not what you want for some of you it is I mean whatever but what's this page of cups somebody is gullible though yeah, the Ten of Swords, like, what? Four of Swords, somebody's still sleeping. They're still very childish. Four of Swords, Six of Cups, Five of Cups. They're still very child. Whoever this is, they getting on my nerves, though. <laughs> Somebody needs to grow up. You're grown as shit, whoever this is. Grow up. Gemini Energy, there could be somebody here that, somebody here could be engaged or married or there's some sort of proposal or offer that somebody is not understanding they're not understanding that this offer is to betray them they're not understanding this <laughs> and it's 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 hex uh my son was talking about the cat and this hex is cursed whatever this is it's just a mess i don't know I feel like somebody keep apologizing to somebody time and time again and they keep taking them back. Like, what's the two of swords? Somebody here is in denial or doesn't want to see the truth about something. That's what's pissing me off. It's like somebody here deep down inside, they, they're not listening to their inner voice, Page of Cups. They're not, they're not opening their heart up or opening their mind up really to... They're really one-track minded. Somebody's not open-minded. They're not. What's the two of swords? Two of Pentacles and the Two of Wands flipped over. You guys will be seeing two, two, two. Yeah, a lot of twos here. Got Two of Pentacles twice. Aries, Mars. We got Gemini. I mean, um, yeah, Gemini, Sun, and Capricorn, Jupiter. Somebody is just stuck, juggling and waiting, waiting for things to change anticipating things they got these plans but they're not going anywhere they're stuck juggling they can't make up their mind or i feel like this could be you you could be you could have been waiting on this person to kind of like be flex this person needs to be flexible and adapt to changes okay or make the changes with the two of pentacles somebody is not open or flexible they just i don't know child I'm moving on though. <laughs> I don't got time. We don't got time for that. This person is not learning a lesson. And this is you. <laughs> the Empress, Nine of Pentacles, and the Judgment. You are moving forward with your life. You're self sufficient. You're abundant. You're free. You're liberated. And can't nobody control you or tell you what the fuck to do. You're self made. Okay? You didn't got your shit all on your own. You know what I'm saying? With the help of spirit. And it's just like you're moving forward with your life. There's new doors and opportunities opening up for you here. With that gate open back there, it's like you're moving forward. I don't know what this person waiting on. What's this two of cups? And their finances is fucked up. 
Yeah, yeah, the Eight of Cups. Like, yeah, I feel like you do love this person. This is somebody here that you love. But they're stuck, though. It's like it's never going anywhere. Somebody here needs to work on their abandonment wounds or their lack of a commitment. Like, somebody got is a commitment foe, possibly. Or they just got a lot of insecurities. They're faking their happiness. Like, what's the Two of Cups with the Eight of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Hermit. Feel like this person here ghosts you and then they they ghost you and they don't come back changed that's what i feel but you do love this person you know and rightfully so i mean not rightfully so but you know you love them you love them whatever but what's the what's the hermit yeah the will of fortune yeah i feel like this relationship has taught you something you've done a lot of introspection yeah four wands this is you that has healed and you you understand what this connection is for some of you it feels twin flame some of y'all this could be your twin and this person it's just not getting the bigger picture they're not getting it <laughs> like they're not so i feel like there's major changes okay like um good fortune uh blessings coming in for you good faded events a good change of events are coming in because you're on the right path you're going towards your north node you're healing you're doing the introspection, the shadow work that you need to do. So what's the Eight of Cups in reverse? The universe could also be putting um, different like events or certain things being orchestrated in your path to show you that somebody's like looking into your love life. Like, you know, you know that there's somebody looking into your love life here. They're spying. Okay, yeah, because they're trying to like ruin something or win something at all costs or whatever. I feel like you know about it, so... The more you know, the better, <laughs> right? But yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse with the um Six of Cups. Could be a Scorpio here, a Pisces. That's my son talking to the cat. I told him he's has to get up there in a minute if he see him eating. I'm gonna have to get some stuff to... um. He know better though. He know he ain't supposed to be on that damn table. But anyways... Um, yeah, somebody's inner child, somebody needs to heal. This would definitely be somebody from your past, somebody that you do have a past like connection with, but they are, I feel like they're more so of a catalyst at this point. Yeah, this person here, they just, they still a bit naive. They haven't grown. 1144 on the clock. And if this is somebody that you got kids with, that's the person that's spying on your love life. And that could be a person that's spying on theirs as well. So they, they haven't learned. They don't know how to deal with this person or set clear boundaries or whatever. What's this two of pentacles? Yeah, the hierophant again. Mm -hmm. What's two of pentacles with the hierophant? Strong Taurus here. And the judgment. And the knight of cups. Yeah, this is your hierophant. <laughs> You're about to go into some sort of commitment, I feel. You are. Yeah, I feel like you're about to go into some sort of commitment because you mastered a lesson with the judgment and the hyphen right here. So now something is coming into balance. You're open, you're flexible, you're adapting to these changes. You're willing to um, be open-minded to other people and how they were brought up, how they, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're, you're, you're the opposite of what this person is. Like, you are... So the Knight of Cups, this could be like a date, a romantic gesture, an offer, or this could be you following your heart here, and that's what you were supposed to do, which is now bringing you into balance. You following your heart, you're doing something. Definitely could be a, a, a spiritual upgrade as well, or your, your psychic abilities are heightening. Okay, as well, what do I want to pull from? This is not really fitting for this... Uh... Let's see what come out of here. This deck is called the Issues Exposed Oracle. Got it from off Etsy.
So we are triggering each other's fears. Yeah, somebody is somebody is scared. That's what that Eight of Swords is right there. They're stuck in fear. They're paralyzed, literally. This is why something is ending with this person. And you're being forced to kind of like change course because this person, somebody got a hold over this person. It's a feeling blocked out or they're triggered that you're getting ready to like move forward. I feel like you are though. Yeah, what's that saying? Playing martyr. Yeah, somebody is somebody is not. We have dark attachments. Yeah. Somebody's a martyr here. They're, I feel like somebody being scrutinized for what they what they want to believe in. Or maybe they have told their family or something like that. Somebody is not, they're they're being a conformist. They're not um living in their true selves in this lifetime like in the past like they could have been something that they that they got um sacrificed for or like uh burned at the stake for but i feel like you're living in your truth and they're not that's the problem and there is dark attachments like i don't getting tangled up in lies yeah Gold digging, all about their money. Yeah, this is, could be somebody in their family that's like this. And this person is just not getting it. So we got in hiding and reverse, hot and cold, dark influences, and fear of vulnerability. So in hiding and reverse is you coming out of hiding if you were hiding. Wow, see, yeah, we got manipulative male, manipulative female. You and this person have, so this is a masculine that's like this, that you dated, or that, this could be your twin. This person has a manipulative female around them. You have a manipulative male around you, but you're, this person, you're not tripping about this person. They can't do nothing to you. You know that. You're too protected. You know who you are, and you're living in your truth. You're moving forward. You don't give a fuck about who's trying to manipulate or whatever. I feel like you see through every damn body. So it don't even matter. It don't even matter. But um, yeah, this person is, I feel like they're trying to send you some sort of message. But, you know, letting you know like, yeah, I love you, but I'm not willing to change. Kind of, I'm not willing to be vulnerable. I'm not ready. So I feel like you're moving on. This person is very hot and cold. Can't make up their mind. And there's dark influences there. Somebody could be doing some sort of mental magic here with this man holding a, his head and dark influences. Somebody plays a lot on this person's mental. They're not mentally strong enough to be with you. Yeah, codependent, immature vibes, yeah. It's just, it's a no. <laughs> Drawing the other end with seduction. Yeah, that page of cups could be seduction as well, yeah. Ignoring red flags and consumed by ideas of love. Yeah, this person here idolizes things. They need to get out of this mess that they're in or whatever it is that they're thinking. It's their belief system. It's their belief system and their family is not helping them out any at all either. In fact, they're doing this shit on purpose to this person. They definitely don't want this person to be with you. Just period. So we got left out in love, wasting time, kind of like came out sideways. Then we have drain to depletion. Yeah, so I feel like this person, you you left this person out. Like you love them, but you're not gonna sit and wait for them. You're not gonna sit and wait for them. You see that you're wasting time and somebody is draining their energy. They could be, yeah, around an energy vampire. Or they're draining your energy because they're they're refusing to heal. So what else? Past wounds, trust issues, outdated thinking. Yeah, I feel like this is what you worked on. You worked on this, and you're realizing this about this person. You're yeah, disappearing, act needing time to heal. Pretends to be blinded to the truth. That's what I'm saying. Nobody got time for that. Nobody has time for that, buddy. Whoever you are. <laughs> Nobody got time to deal with that. Somebody's outdated, outdated thinking in their past wounds are keeping them stuck. It's keeping them stuck. 
So, I don't know, but this was your reading cancer. I hope that it resonated. Hopefully you got some clarity, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings and I will talk to you all later. Bye.